Hi, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to um, come on here and discuss the 40 days. Um, if you remember back, let's see, it was probably five or well, it was before May, so February, March, um, like it was in March, end of March, I had this dream where um, I heard the Lord say, "Man, ha I give man 40 days to rule. And, um, and then my pen wrote something like Nissan or something, and then 40 days. But I was thinking, like, we haven't really seen the 40 days yet because um, after I heard this, I seen a man backhand a woman onto her back, which I believe that was Jesus and the woman was uh, America, or it could symbolize Jerusalem, I don't know. <clears throat> and then I seen, I was floating above a huge flagpole, like at a capital, and there I was looking down and there was no flag, the flag was gone. So I believe that symbolized that America is going to fall or be divided or, you know, something, destruction like that. And then um, I was shown a military tank. And, um, well, at the, how it first started out was I heard, right now... They are screaming and shouting from the rooftops, make America great again. And then I heard, I'm giving man, man will have 40 days to rule. And then I seen those, uh, the, the woman backhanded, the empty flagpole, and the military tank. So, um... With this eclipse going on, I don't know when the 40 days is at. I see a lot of people putting out um, 40 days uh, from this eclipse. That would put it on Yom Kipp Kippur. It's the repentance. Um, I'm not sure. But I also heard in a dream, 921 is a scoreboard. And um, I've talked about this a few times in my videos after that I received that, um, that a scoreboard is like a marker. And on the scoreboard, there's home and away. And depending on which sport you're watching, um, it'll have, like in baseball, it has um, hits, uh, runs, and um, uh, strikes. So, <laughs> it's pretty prophetic. And then another time, um, I also had a dream where I was sitting in front of a theater, and um, I was sitting with my husband, and where this um, African American lady came out on stage, and and she was. Um, dancing on stage and I said out loud I said I told my husband I said and his family was there and I said look it's Dinah Shore and I never knew who Dinah Shore was I as soon as I woke up I had to go look her up but I was sitting with my husband John's family all they're all Italians and um uh, so I, you know, the dream, uh, the video I did about that dream was actually just a, um, like a PowerPoint. It was one of those ones where you had to read it with the music. Um, but I was discussing it with my friend Sherry and she was thinking now Dinah Shore doesn't look African American. She's not, um, cause this lady was plump. She was pretty hefty, and she had, like, a flapper dress on with, like, uh, gold coins or something, really shiny round things uh, sewn into it, and um, just having a hootin' time up on the stage. 
And so we were discussing it, and she was saying, that sounds like the Antichrist. And her last name's Shore. Um, and so, and then Dinah, I forget what Dinah means, but you guys can look it up. And so we were thinking, you know, when you see something that's, um, when you're talking about a body that's, you know, puffed up, proud, fattened, um, and, um, up on stage and, you know, they, she didn't look anything like Dinah Shore, Dinah Shore and Dinah Shore was actually uh, Jewish from Jewish descent. And so we were thinking, you know, it's talking about the Antichrist coming on the scene. And um, I've had dreams where I've smelled um, actual, literally in my dreams, smelled fire and brimstone, like rotten eggs. And I said out loud, the Antichrist is near. I can smell him. And um, so these are just dreams that the Lord's uh, been taking us through to to show us that the time is near. Here we've had this sign in the sky, um, which was really weird. Um, they said the, I'm in California, they said the eclipse was going to hit about nine. Well, the eclipse didn't start happening over here till like 11 in my area. And then it didn't, it lasted till like three o'clock. It was really weird, you guys. And I was sleepy all day long. I just felt drained. Um, I just felt exhausted and I had a headache for, for all that day and the day after. And, um, so anyway, I just, I wanted to share that dinosaur dream. And then the 40 days when it was spoken to me about the 40 days after the 40 days, it was like all heck was going to break loose. And, um, we know 40 days is significant in the scripture. I mean, it's all over the scripture. Noah was in the ark for 40 days, you know, and, and, uh, some say he built the ark for 40 years and Jesus went to the wilderness and pra uh, uh, fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And <coughs> 40 is just every, everywhere. I think there's like 10 or 11 places where it talks about references, the number 40, and, um, so I don't know if the 40 days is start, we're starting right now after the eclipse, or if the 40 days starts after 921, because that is actually the feast of trumpets during that time. Remember I was, I mentioned something about, um, in the book of Haggai with the King Zerubbabel and the signet ring, and it was talking about war and destruction and, um, the actual verses in Haggai were verse 21 through 23 or, uh, 20 through 24 was the main, um, talking about destruction and the signet ring and all that. And, and then I had another dream where I was at the grocery store and I reached up, I grabbed a bottle of wool wash. It said wool wash and then, um, $92 and one cent, I believe it said, and so, and I've been seeing 921 everywhere, guys. Oh, and then also, too, I had the dream about the planets. Um, in the Virgo constellation, I seen the moon at her feet and the sun at her head. And I seen four planets in between. And the planet closest to her feet said 911. So watch for September 11th, too, you guys. I don't know if it was literal, a date, uh, and I'm not talking rapture, you guys, okay? If you want to believe in your heart, you know, every day we look for the Lord, but the Lord told me these, this is a scoreboard. Uh, these are markers to watch for because he also told me a few months ago the tribulation is about to begin. So, um, if you... Uh, I mean, and when he talks, it's, it's not like, oh, I, I think I heard something in my head. It's right before I wake up and it is a loud, uh, male's voice. And he, it's like the tribulation is about to begin again, again, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no, um, uh, misunderstanding that it's pretty clear. Um, and, uh, what else? Um, 
So if you, you know, I'm not talking rapture dates, guys. I'm, I'm not, I don't do, I don't do rapture dates, but, um, I give the dates or days or numbers that the Lord shows me in dreams. And, um, you know, and, um, I don't know if the 40 days could be starting at 921 or I know a lot of people are saying 923. Um, I don't know, but on anyway, on the planets, it was nine 11. So watch out, watch on for that day. Something might be occurring in the world. I've also heard six days. I woke up saying six days. My husband heard it. And, and then on the other three planets, it said nine 21, nine 21. It was written on the planets, um, that were more closer to her head. And, um, so I've had many references in my dreams to 921 and before this stuff happened, you guys, the Lord started showing me this stuff. I wasn't into it. You know, I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. I was like, nope, because, um, I have to be very discerning about, um, what I lay my eyes on. So it doesn't influence, uh, my dreams. Cause I, I, I don't want that to happen. And, and, um, when that, when I, that happened and I was actually, um, it had a dream in the star constellation and I seen that and I woke up, I was just like, wow. I, at first I didn't know what 921 was. And then I realized, Hey, that's September 21st, start putting, you know, Rosh Hashanah, started putting two and two together, talking with my friend Sherry. Um, I was given, uh, that, um, heard Rosh Hashanah in my spirit. And, um, and then I heard, uh, the song by dream Academy life in a Northern town, which is very, very also the Lord was trying to speak some things through that song too. So, um, I don't know when the 40 days starts. I don't know if it started from the eclipse. I don't know if it's going to start from nine 21. I don't know if it's going to start at nine 11. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but. Um, all I know is that we just trust and lean upon the Lord and keep watching for him every day. Um, pray for each other, pray for our enemies. And, uh, one thing that I've been learning, uh, that is a, a key into, um, uh, our lives as we walk with the Lord is to pray for your enemy. Pray for those people that come against you. Uh, pray for those people that you know that are teaching bad doctrine. Pray for those people that persecute you. Pray, pray, pray. <laughs> because when you pray for your enemy, um, the, it, it breaks all those legal things and the Lord goes in there and he works everything for his good. And if your enemy, no matter what your enemy is, you pray. Pray for them that the Lord would have his way in their life and pray for those people that persecute you because once you do, things start changing. Things start turning around. The Lord starts um, changing situations and, and uh, the consequences of things come out differently and, and it changes that person's life around and then you're not being persecuted anymore and then it's all for God's glory. So um, I just thank him. I thank him every day and uh, I love him. And I love you guys, and I'm praying for the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.